go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, we have a new season. It is season 49, and this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Salamanaka. Salam. Manka, Salamanca, UDS Shield. I probably mangled that name still, but let's see who they have. Uh, well, there we go. Season 49 kickoff. Oh, I see. They want to ban my guys. Okay, Domino. Back to banning Hercules and Storm X. All right, and Global is Iceman. You know what's interesting? These are champions I have taken up. Oh, boy. She's got good timing. She just had me up there. Anyway, let us uh, see what they got going on here. All right. Oh, they got some fun ones already. Did the meta change? Let's see. No, no. Still got the same. Okay. So Vox gets armor ups. And I notice he also glances. So I went in against him with Hulkling and it didn't go well. So we're not going to do that again. We'll go in with someone else. Maybe Corvus. I don't know. And then we've got an old favorite. Now, with Annihilus, a Mystic is good against him. Like, oh, I don't know, Claire. And then we've got Void. Now, on this note, he doesn't get anything special, but he's Void. Now, one thing that's good is that um, Mole Man is a great option for him. And then we have Future Ant-Man who will get armor ups. Now, Hulkling is great for that one. So let's see. If I bring in Mole Man, Claire, and maybe Corvus. I don't know if Corvus can handle this fight here against future Ant-Man. So, I can also bring in, no, I was thinking of um, Ghost Rider, but he wouldn't be able to do uh, that fight. So, let's see. Claire might be able to take that Vox, too. We'll see. I'm going to um, do a little bit more investigating, but for right now, I'm thinking Claire and Mole Man, and then someone that can take both Vox and future Ant-Man. And as far as the minis go... We'll have to see who I have afterwards. And if there's anybody that I can take here. Yeah. Like if I bring in Corvus. Yeah, some of these. Let's see. Yeah, see like Shock and Bleed. 
he might be able to do this one if I brought Corvus. But she is definitely annoying. Um, let's see, Domino. Corvus could do that one. The aggression prowess can be a pain. But if I boost up, that shouldn't be a problem either. So Corvus can take both of those fights, I'm thinking. But usually we bring someone in that can handle the um, D-Gen. Corvus would have to overpower the D-Gen. So... Definitely Claire, definitely Mole Man. Unless I can think of some other way. You know, I might bring someone that can handle like, um, hmm. He's not bleed immune. I could, um, yeah, but he has that glancing though. That glancing is really annoying. Um, yeah. The glancing is annoying because I was thinking of Nick Fury. I can um I can take that void with Nick Fury, no problem. Be Claire, Nick Fury, and Nick Fury might be able to take that um Vox as well. But I'll I'll think of something. And we'll see how it goes, all right? So let's get on with the fighting. So I did think of something. Magneto and Claire and Hulkling. So I have fought Vox, I believe, once before. And I was looking for a, um, a good counter for him. And I remembered that he's metal. And I'm like... So that means Magneto can take him. And I looked up some on uh, YouTube and I did see someone take him out with Magneto. So I'm like, all right, that works. Now, another thing that I found out about Vox, it seems that when he gets hit with a medium attack, he procs his armor up. Well, Magneto, it's parry heavy. So if I stick to that, I shouldn't have to worry about any armor ups. All right, so we got parry, heavy, he's magnetized, parry, heavy. As you can see, no armor ups. And look at the damage. Just look at the damage Magneto is doing. And I don't think my Magneto, yeah, he's not even um, rank five yet. But that, um, his SIG ability, gives him more damage on his heavy attack. That's why you're seeing him just rip through this box. Look at this, box is down to 38%. And I'm not even at my special three yet. I'm like, wow, you see that? That heavy crit, nasty, all right? And so I'm just like, okay, yeah, I, I understand why he was backing up like that, scared. I don't blame him. Now at this point, I did not have to fire my special three. But after working all that time to get to that special three, oh, I was gonna get that special three off. Okay, so down goes Vox. Now, if you don't have a Magneto, you can do this fight with other champions. Just keep in mind his me um, mechanics. You know, like not hitting him with a medium. All right, now we've got <sighs> Annihilus. I don't like fighting Annihilus, but Claire can handle him pretty well. See, look at that, first thing off, he does this. But that's okay, I snatched his um, buff, so now I don't have to worry about him. Yeah, come on, come on, yeah. See how I'm parrying him and everything just fine? All right, he's got it back again. Now he's going unstoppable, but that's fine. Okay, yep, got the unstoppable. This is why I don't like him. 
but it's all right. Now I'm good because you don't have that buff. All right. So here we go. Come on. And I just say, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Take him out. Claire handles him quite well. And there's others. You want to ideally use a Mystic Champion against him. Symbiote Supreme does extremely well against him. Um, but anyone that, that nullifies, a Mystic that nullifies, like Claire, great. Okay. Now, for this fight, I'm always wary about Void because I run the ouchies. So that means I have two debuffs on me. But I also tend to use champions that are very friendly. So my plan here is, first of all, she starts in Curse of Blood. So I don't have the bleed debuff on her. Now I just need to go cycle once. Bam. Curse of Plague. Now I don't have the poison debuff on me. Now I'm good. Now I can fight this fight like you would fight him with anyone else. Okay? Even though I have the ouchies on, it doesn't matter at this point. And she has such a multi-hit special that I really don't have to worry about his uh, timer or anything like that. See, he's got that on me, but who cares? I just got rid of it again, and now he's done. So Void is not the scary boogeyman that he was before. I used to avoid, anytime I saw Void, I was like, okay, I can't take that path because I'm not turning off my uh, ouchies. But I have champs now that it's not a problem. Now you've seen me do this fight uh, quite often. So, you know, basically I'm waiting out that armor. Now I want to hit into his block. Get that pierce up. Now he's not going to get his armor up, so I don't have to worry about the glancing. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, Hulkling is shock immune, so even with the armor ups, uh, it wouldn't do anything for me on this node. Hulkling is just great for this. You just want to keep his uh, uh, pierces up. Now, see, he doesn't have a pierce right now. Okay, and I'm trying to wait for him to get... Okay, there we go. I got one pierce. I was waiting for him to block. And that pause right there that you saw, that happened in the game. <laughs> that that actually was lag. It actually was like, whoop, and then it kept going. I was like, okay, but we got him. Now, I was not assigned any other fights in this war. However, I got a special request to come help out on a Weapon X. And I was like, oh, uh, okay. There he is down there. That Weapon X, um, I think it was the Weapon X. Come on. Because we, we, I looked late. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, uh, I know they asked me to help on that Weapon X, but hadn't done it just yet. Okay, so now you can see Weapon X was, was doing a number on him. And I'm like, hmm. Who should I use against Wolverine? Oh, look. He's metal. Hmm. That gives me an idea. So I'm like, all right, let's do this. And I wasn't sure about Weapon X on this uh, node here. Wish I had had my Lady Death Strike, but that's okay. Uh, I wasn't told who to use or anything like that. But, I mean, he's metal. Magneto loves that metal. I remember watching the uh, X-Men movie and Magneto was like, does that go throughout your entire body? And he's like playing him like a puppet. And I'm like, you know, that's right. Wolverine would be the worst person to fight Magneto. So anyway, basic strategy. All right. And this node, he had a protection. But that's great because I can do heavy attacks to take away the protection. You saw that right there. He's getting the unstoppable and I messed up the timing, but I also had unstoppable. So we're doing some work. Okay. Look at that. Hit him, hit him. All right. Now you just want to bait this out. Yep. And he's unblockable now, but he's not unstoppable. And then he hits me. 
I'm like, what the world? Fortunately, I don't have to worry about uh, the bleed so much. And then I was like, you know what? We need to reset this. Let's fire off my special three, even though I don't have a whole lot of prowess. And uh, reset this thing, because he, he acting crazy. Look at this. I don't know what it is, guys. But when they're unblockable, it seems like I have the hardest time dashing backwards. I'm like, come on, he's unblockable. The last thing I want to do is be right up in his face. But I don't know. So now I got to hit him. Um, he, it ran out, his uh, rage or whatever they call it. And now we're good. Now we're good. All right, boom. 19K crit, 11K crit, fight is over. Not the cleanest by any means. Just kept getting hit. Tried to get out, but that's why I had that indestructible. Because I knew, I knew shenanigans. I knew the shenanigans were coming. All right. Um, but anyway, that is the last fight that I had in this war. Um, yeah. I didn't have to fight anybody on that uh, final boss island. Not the boss, nobody. All right. So we'll be back in a moment. And you'll find out how this first war of the season ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So a nice start to the season. Win number one, war number one, we're good. They didn't have full diversity. Interesting. That is an interesting choice, unless somebody just messed up. Shout out to our MVPs there. But yeah, it wasn't really close. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight The shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown oh.